just how much I love you You'll never know just how much I care For seven decades, Ruta Lee has remained one of Hollywood's most glamorous and most giving stars. Her career as an actress is rivaled only by her volunteer career. Over the years, she's helped raise tens of millions of dollars for charity. Most notably, Ruta, along with her late best friend Debbie Reynolds, spent decades with the Thalians, raising money and awareness for mental health. The group is currently focused on veterans, helping our wounded warriors adjust back to life as civilians. Ruta's star power has shined and dazzled Hollywood since the early 1950s, when she was a student at Hollywood High. As a teenager, Ruta's big break came in 1954 as one of the brides in the now classic movie musical, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Yes, sir, spring discloses that it's all. One supposes it's a real bed of roses, wagon tails, rubber noses. Part drama, comedy, romance, and western, Ruta's work in Seven Brides would serve her well as her career took off. In the 1950s, she was also featured in the mystery crime thriller Witness for the Prosecution with Tyrone Power and Marlena Dietrich. Oh, Len, they've been trying to keep me away from you. It's had me nearly crazy. Leonard, who's this girl? I'm not this girl. I'm his girl. Tell her, Len. Leonard, is this the girl who was with you in the travel bureau? The girl you said you hardly knew, didn't even know her name? That's right. That's who I am, and I know all about you. You're not his wife, never have been. You're years older than he is. The same year she starred in the romantic musical comedy Funny Face with Audrey Hepburn and Fred Astaire. I can't find the number. How are you spelling it? A-U-L-Y. Orly, O-R-L-Y. You were there, remember? Oh, of course, I'm just so nervous. Those three films alone, featuring this luminous lucky charm, earned 15 Oscar nominations. In 1962, Ruta joined the very popular Rat Pack. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop in the comedy western Sergeants 3. You know, Larry, it's a wonderful thing having understanding friends like this. Ruta and the western seemed to go together. Long before she married her handsome Texan, Webb Lowe, she seemed to find her way onto almost every American TV Western of the 1950s and 1960s. Ruta became a constant presence in the world of television back then, appearing, it felt, almost weekly on one show or another. Here's a small sample, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show. And well, I'd like to ask a little favor. I know you'll say I'm a wet blanket, but I... Oh, what an odd favor, but I'll be glad to say you're a wet blanket. Come over and sit down. Perry Mason. It's all my fault, Mr. Mason. You have to believe that. Burke's Law. What exactly do you do for a living? I drink. That's so obvious. Of course, only in the better places. And with her good pal, the late, great Lucille Ball on The Lucy Show. Hello. Oh! Oh, it's Ruta Lee, the movie star. Oh, just don't stand there. Let her in. Oh! Ruta also made her mark on the stage. She starred in several productions of Hello, Dolly. She played Peter Pan. Ruta was Annie in Annie, Get Your Gun. The list goes on and on. The best stage story about Ruta involves her starring in the unsinkable Molly Brown. The late Meredith Wilson, who composed the musical, considered Ruta the best of the Mollies, once saying if she'd originated the role on Broadway, the production would still be running. Ruta received a star on the famous Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2006, steps away from a landmark, the iconic Chinese theater. I worked as a candy girl here, but then one day the cashier in the booth got sick and I got promoted to cashier. We were $60 short that night. I got fired. They thought I had stolen the money. And when I left, I said to the man, you know, you're wrong about this. 
And one of these days, I'm going to come back and put my footprints or something into the courtyard. Well, now I've got a star in front of the box office. Hey, 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 hey. Ruta's effervescent charm bubbles over. So why wouldn't she just decide to call Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev in 1964 to personally ask him to pardon her grandmother, who'd been in a Siberian internment camp since World War II? He granted the pardon, and her grandmother spent the rest of her life with her in California. So right now, her being there with you is another proud moment in the life and career of a true classic, an absolute original, and a lovely and loving lady. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ruta Lees. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful fling to be flung. And even when you're old and gray, I'm going to feel the way I do today. Cause you make me feel so young, so young.